What's good, people? Um, I know it's been a while. I have been extremely busy. Um, had people coming in and out of my house this weekend for Labor Day weekend, which is also um, Pride weekend here in the ATL. Um, I got a chance to meet a few of um, some other YouTube superstars here. Um, I seen um, a couple of the people from the that the Real Housewives of Atlanta show. I got a chance to shake hands with Nene. Um, I met Dwight. We uh, went by his salon so my homeboy could get some stuff done. Um, what else did we do? Some of the YouTubers I saw. Um, I think his name is Nunu. Um, he's my homeboy's friend. I seen on YouTube. I like a few of his videos. I've seen him, um, and I seen uh, Tamaya, aka Quadir. I like his videos too. It was good to see the YouTubers out. I wish I would have known a lot of these people were in town. Maybe I could have uh, pressed more to go see him. But other than that, it was bananas. Um, partying with Takara. That was bananas. She picked me up, y'all. In her hands. I made a few dollars on the dance floor. Not even one of the dances, but I made a few dollars anyway. <laughs> Which is always all good. It got me a nice um sandwich from Subway after work. But I'm just checking in with y'all to let y'all know. Um, I'm surviving. I'm still here. I'm gonna bring some more music videos back to y'all real soon. Um also I wanna talk to you about this book. Hold on one second. The Divine Nine. Yes, The Divine Nine. Um, it's about the nine historically uh, African American in fraternities and sororities. It's kind of a large read. What it does is it kind of highlights each organization um, uh, piece by piece. Uh, at first, I like how it starts off it really in the beginning of each describing each organization and its and its foundings and its you know before it gets into what the organization is about in depth. It describes some of the key members, some of the mottos, some of the uh, programs that each of these organizations do. Um, it's a very nice book. Gave you some vintage photos. Um, um, yeah, gave you some vintage photos of some old school stuff that I liked. Um, as you can see, if I can open up the book. You know, I mean, it's a lot. And then it got the answer question thing I read a lot about, like, why some of the famous um, black G Greek fraternity and sorority members and their perspective on organizations. And it was just a very good read. I actually used to be in contact with Lance uh, Ross, who wrote the book. He's an alpha. Um, he was out of Maryland a long time ago. And I lost this book. I had a hard copy when it first came out. But, you know, somebody probably stole it. So I finally got back into it a few days ago. And it was, it was, well, actually, I got back into it, like, Wednesday, because after Friday, with this Black Pride thing, it was bananas. Um, I might be, um, reading some more stuff. I know I got some by Terry Woods coming up, definitely, but this is such an excellent book, especially if you, if, um, if you had any kind of preconceptions of, these organizations and what they do and why people pledge or intake or become members and you hear all different kinds of stuff about stereotypes and all that kind of myths this is a good read very good read for, for people that are want to join want to participate mm. or whatever as you can see guests still have clothes all over um, my room. <laughs> it is bananas. It is bananas. But um, I've had fun this weekend and I look forward to bringing some more stuff to y'all. I just wanted to give you an update, let y'all know I'm surviving. And to you this, uh, peace. Shorty Rock, signing out.